we we were fi financially we were good you, but we just were not in a position where we could really get to that next level i i knew and and understand me y'all i you know i keep it so real you got you y'all got to understand that i you you're talking to somebody who 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 failed school who was in and out of jail who got saved in a dope house with with a ged so it's not like somebody gave me a hand up. It's not like I got connected to the right circle of people. It's not like as a prophet in ministry, getting into entrepreneurship that all these people were giving me these handouts because in ministry, when, when you started doing, when you started doing business in ministry, people felt like at the time, we talking about 18 years ago, they felt like, oh, you done lost the anointing because now you, you supposed to be a prophet and you trying to do business. And then people who were in the business world that came into the ministry, you know, they just felt like they was the next best thing since sliced bread because now they were called out of the secular world into, into the ministry. But in my mind, I felt like both of those worlds should come together. So it, it's, it was an uphill battle figuring this out. But three years ago, when I went to God, understand, it's not like we were struggling. We living in this 350 thousand dollar house three flows two acres more rooms than we could live in everybody else was enjoying that big old house anyway the kids the family everybody who wanted to move to atlanta came through that house we didn't care because we wasn't there half the time anyway i'm riding in a rover she in a Benz. we got money our business is doing good a lot of our business most of our business was either in buckhead midtown or or atlanta because we was in real estate. I'm not saying this to brag, I'm just saying this to show you that it's not like we were struggling, but I knew there was another level. And I started praying and seeking the Lord. And the first thing the Lord told me was, you got a revelation, bruh, but you don't know enough. You don't know enough about the game beyond the game that you playing. And when I say the game, I'm talking about the getting money game, the getting that bad game. The, the, the financial game, the economic game, the wealth game. God was like, you don't know enough. And I was like, oh my God, as much as I know, I don't know enough. And immediately, my, my, my spiritual daughters here, everybody that was around me at the time would tell you, this is the beginning of 2017. God said, I want you to get rid of that big old house. I'm going to show you I didn't know it was the blueprint. This was three years ago. I didn't know it was the blueprint, but the Holy Ghost told me at the time, I'm gonna show you how to go get wealth. This is three years ago, y'all. We, we talking about two luxury cars. That wasn't nothing but that. A big old house with a mortgage, that ain't nothing but that. We probably, I probably had 40 credit cards myself. I was like the credit card king. I was like the emperor of credit cards. My wife only had about five. I probably got 15 just in her name because I needed the money. She like, bro, you need to figure it out. So so I'm I'm talking about, I'm around here with about probably $100,000 worth of credit card debt. I was like the yes man. Some of y'all might know in the early 2000s, this guy they called the yes man. He said yes to every credit card offer that came through. I was the yes man. Every time they gave me an offer, I got it. Two weeks later, I'm calling them back. Can you bump that thing up? Let me get about another grand out of there. I'm, but but so so even though we were we knew how to make money, we didn't know how to manage it, or at least I didn't, because she following me. It wasn't her fault, and I didn't know how to multiply it. In other words, I did not understand the financial game, the economic game. This is very important, y'all, especially those of you that know you're prophetic people, because what God showed me, it, I didn't understand it as the blueprint. It was God showing me revelation and, and explaining to me that you're rebel, you know you're supposed to be wealthy. You, you know you're supposed to be doing better, but your revelation needs intelligence. You don't have enough intelligence with regard to economics. And I'm not just talking about basic economics. I'm talking about biblical economics. And then if you don't have the right intelligence, you're not going to have the right practice. Literally, y'all. Got rid of the house. It took me a while to get rid of that robe. I ain't going to hold you up. I, I, I held on to that joke because it was almost paid off anyway. So I went ahead and paid it off. It, it needed some work, but it was like, that was my baby. I was like, that's the first car I wanted to get when I moved to Atlanta. I'm going to get me a robe. I ain't want to get that joke up. And Lord, like, if you don't have several seats, 
I'm trying to get you to wealth. And, and, and that's when the journey began uh, uh, three years ago. We moved to Buckhead. And then uh, guess what, y'all? God told me, move to Buckhead. We weren't even thinking about Buckhead. I'm like, hold up, Lord. Buckhead is the financial, this is the financial district of Atlanta. And I, I started catching on. Oh, you want to put me in the midst of the money because you're going to force you finna force my faith to a level to get where you want me to be. We dropped everything and we did just that. We got rid of that house. We started transitioning out of that big old 5,000 square foot building of a church we had. We, it, I was working, you know, it took me a while to get rid of the car. Finally, I let the, the Rover go, you know, cause I got up here and got used to living in the city, getting Ubered around and driving my, you know, just running her Mercedes into the ground, even though plug, shameless, she got her new one, so she good. But we made that move. And for the last three years, we, we've been living that thing out. A lot of y'all know me, I wasn't even talking about money up until 2018. Cause I started getting a revelation. I started seeing, oh my God, this thing is working. I'm actually living this thing out and I'm starting to see it. 